I wanted to hop on here. I just got done doing some ball testing out here at TPC Myrtle Beach. This place is in absolutely gorgeous shape. Very lushy. Everything's green. Um, but it is some ball testing. I always ball test. I ball test every year. I'm a Shrixon guy. I've been playing the Shrixon Diamond for a while. So, but I wanted to test it against the Pro V1, the new Pro V1, the Pro V1X, the Max Fly, the rest of the Shrixon lineup. And um, as I'm testing, I'm hitting chips from just, just around the green stuff. I didn't putt. I just I wanted fairway green side type chips from 60, 40, 25 yards. Okay. All right. I'm telling you guys, if you're in the market for a wedge, you've got to give these guys a chance. Um, and let me tell you why. First of all, their clubs are built for amateurs. I don't think. I don't think enough people realize that they're built for amateur golfers. I'm an amateur golfer. Uh, I'm an okay golfer. Uh, my handicap says I'm a little over a three. Now I can shoot in the seventies, low seventies, but I can also shoot in the high eighties. So th this is, this is what I want my point. I want to get across my miss on 60 yard chips, 40 yard chips, 30 yard chips is I tend to want to raise up. I don't know if that's because I'm six foot eight or what, but my miss is on the bottom of the club. It, it's not a skull or a blade, but boy, it's hanging on for dear life. Uh, with other wedges, that ball's gone. Okay. It's, it's, it's not going to stay on the green. It's going to make it to the fringe. It's going to roll down the hill and then we're chipping back on to the green, right? So I'll tell you about it in the next story. So with this wedge, the RM4, on those misses, is it spinning and stopping right next to the hole? No, but it's not rolling off the green either. Um, somehow the technology at the bottom of the club, the, the bounce, whatever, it's able to produce enough spin still to get it to stop, right? So instead of a chip back up on the green, you got a 10, 12, 13 foot putt to maybe say par, right? If you play Callaway, if you play Tideless, Vokey, whatever, I'm not sure on center of the face, square face hits, you're going to feel any difference between the 14 and those clubs. Where you will feel the difference is on the miss hits because these are built for us, all right? RM4 wedges, 14 wedges. Now, with that being said, the RM4 wedge, all right, the bounce on these wedges, the turf interaction, I don't know all the technology behind it, but here's what I do know. I know when I'm not playing my best, when I'm not hitting in the center of the face, I still get performance out of these wedges, which I think is important to amateur golfers. Whether you're a four handicap or a 25 handicap, or even a plus handicap, we're not always going to be on, right? So why not get something that performs even when we're not playing our best? That's what I love about 14, all of their products. They're built for us. They're built for the amateur. This is why I 14. Now, I used to be a Cleveland guy, play Cleveland wedges all the time. And if I was not hitting them correctly or good, the performance was not there. That's the difference. Performance, 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 when we're not performing at our best. Next story. Bear with me, I'm almost done. You're like, Salty, that's great. I'm glad they work for you, but I need like 50 degree and, and, and 54 and 58 and all these exotic numbers or whatever. All right, they can do that. It's no problem. They can handle that. They can even bend it for you, I think, if you need like a 54.7 degree. They've got it in raw. They've got it in like a satin color. They've got it in like a darker gunmetal color. They can do all that. It's a forged wedge. I'm pretty sure they can bend it. If you want a Nippon shaft, they can do all that. If you want a Project X shaft, they can do that. If you want a Dynamic Gold S300, they got you covered on all of that. Now, I've got a great discount code with them. I don't get paid by 14, okay? Do I partner with them? Absolutely. But I partner with them because I believe in the product. That's the difference. And they're built for us. I cannot stress that enough. It's built for us, the amateur. Next story, I promise, the last one. Last one, I promise. So later on this year, 14's coming out with a campaign called Why 14? And I've been giving that a lot of thought. And here's my answer to Why 14, why I play 14. It's because 
they perform when I'm not. When I'm not at my best on the golf course, I know that the technology and the irons and wedges are going to save me four, six, eight, maybe even ten strokes when I'm out there grinding. So if you if you want a wedge or an iron that looks really sexy and is built and made for amateurs but are on most of, if not all, the major tours, professionals play these, get you some. They have a great demo program. If you've got any questions, I will do my absolute best to answer it for you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer. So that's why I-14. And uh, I promise you, if you're an amateur golfer, they won't disappoint you. Have a good weekend.